What is up YouTube and welcome back to another day in the garage today. It is actually sunny and about 55 out, which is kind of nice. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. Today I'm working on getting some of the cowl on the ranger all fixed up. I think my buddy Luke's coming over, gonna help me get it tacked in. I was kind of having a trouble doing it by myself. And I think this afternoon, uh, I'm supposed to head over to my dad's house and do some priming and painting on the F100. Uh, we decided to take the whole grill out in the middle of doing all the interior work and should be a busy day today. Also in here, uh, check this out, check this out. I got a freshly built LS9 engine that one of my buddies is going to have me go through and paint with the Eastwood paint kit. So coming up in the next couple days, hopefully we're going to get into this and go through the whole process of degreasing, painting, and making this thing shiny again. This is a LS9 block with highly built LS3 heads. Has, uh, I think it was board 50 over, stroked, and also fully forged with all new valve journals and everything. So this thing's pretty fly. I'm not sure if it's ever going to make it into the car, but hopefully by the time it leaves my garage, it will be super shiny, red and black again. Uh, I believe it came out of a 2011 Camaro that my buddy owns. And yeah, sooner or later, he's going to try to put it back together. So he's got to start with this engine we just picked up from the engine shop. All in all, should be a fun day. Like I said, we're going to do some prime and painting. Uh, work on some of this Ranger cow that I promised. And we'll get going. See you soon. Alright, so I got the, the cow all cleaned up here. My buddy Luke is fixing up the filler plate one last little bit. What I think is going to happen here is we're going to line it all up with magnets and probably support each side and get the, the weld right in the center to keep it all aligned perfectly. From there, I think we're just going to work from the center out and hopefully this all falls into place nice and neat. Uh, let's see what happens. We are tacked, we are welded, all looks lined up here. I'm gonna pack up, eat some lunch, head over to my dad's house, and we'll talk about some of that 400 stuff going on. See you then. So for part two of today, we are gonna work a little bit on the F100. As you can see here, we got the grill taken out on top of working on the interior. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, open up the door here. As you can see, my pops got most of the carpet all laid. We put the billet bezels in on the foot wells. I installed some pretty cool interior lighting for them. These rock lights you see here in the back corner. And we put a nice little billet piece on the back firewall to hold the carpet down also. I'll show you the lights here in one second.
All right, so let's head outside and on to the real reason why I'm over here today, and that is to work on the grill. It was missing a bunch of fasteners, and I kind of wanted to paint it the same color as the bumper, so we had the whole grill here sandblasted, the headlight buckets, the headlight bezels, and I think I'm going to throw some primer on the, the new kick panels for the interior. Uh, it's bare metal here, so I'm going to put some sealer on it and some slick sand right out here and get it going. So we're gonna move on to the slick sand sealers drying off for the last coat that I just put on. I usually mix my slick sand with a little bit of acetone, thins it out. You gotta use a large 2.0 gun tip to spray this. Pops here is gonna get this all uh, mixed up for me and I'm gonna go gear up for the second round.
slick sand is sick sticky i'll tell you that so this is where i'm leaving off for this video i got three coats of everything got the kick panels here they look excellent they had a little bit of grain i think i'm gonna be able to sand that out super easy look how shiny these things are should clear up pretty nice the stuff settles very good so you can sand it easy but thanks to everybody that's been subscribing and i'll catch you next time we're gonna have to go through and sand this and like i said we're gonna work on that 6.2 block that was in the garage get that all painted and degreased and see how the eastwood paint kit goes so see you then thanks